So today I'll be talking about the four steps to the nerve impulse. So the definition of the nerve impulse is how info is conveyed along neurons. So step number one. Step one is the resting potential. When I mean resting potential, that is me, that's what I mean by when the axon is not conducting an impulse. And the potential difference across the membrane is negative 65 millivolts. And inside of the axon, which is here, is more negatively charged compared to the outside due to its higher concentration of sodium ions outside and the higher concentration of potassium ions on the inside and large negatively charged organic ions inside the axon. Step two. The third step is depolarization. So when is that the step of the depolarization stage is when a stimulus is detected. So sodium gates open here and then Na ions, sodium ions, will flow into the axon by facilitated transport. And when that happens, the membrane, membrane potential changes to positive 40 millivolts. Step three. So this third step is called repolarization. At this stage of repolarization, it's basically the reverse of depolarization. So potassium gates will open and potassium ions will flow outside and the memory potential will change back to negative 65 millivolts. So basically everything basically becomes the same thing as it started with, with higher concentration on the inside and lower concentration on the outside. Step four, the final step. So this final step is called the refraction period. So the nerve impulse from the first one will travel to the second section of the axon, which is this one. And while this one is getting transferred, this previous axon will undergo the, what they call the refractory period, so what basically the fourth step is all about. And what happens during the refractory period is that sodium potassium pumps will actively transport N, N plus ions, so sodium ions outside of the axon and potassium ions back into the axon. So the concentration of the inside will be more, it's at a higher concentration than outside. So basically the four steps repeat itself. So after the first impulse, we'll have the first four steps, then it'll transfer the impulse to the second one and so forth. And all of them will all have the same four steps and they will all be always be ready to have the next impulse after the first impulse has been given out.